Hey guys, Dominator of the World here, doing a matchmaking battle on Halo, Halo Reach. Uh, this is on the Boneyard map, and it is a Big Bro Slayer game, which is basically where when you die, you have to respawn on someone who is um, not in combat, so basically like in the campaign. So to begin with, I take this ghost and I go all the way to the other side. There's this player here who seems to be zoomed in, or AFK, so I assassinate her. And this is actually the first time that I noticed that there are female Spartans in Halo Reach multiplayer. And so I thought that was pretty cool to hear her, her blood-curdling scream. Yes, I am twisted inside. Don't judge me. Alright, so my teammate had that tank, so I decided to go back into my ghost. And right now I'm just basically looking for any enemy players I can kill. Uh, right now all I see is friendly, so I am having a bit of trouble finding them. However, there is this Warthog that shows up. You can see it here. Um, unfortunately, I'm at a disadvantage since I'm in a ghost against a Warthog. Warthogs in Halo Reach tend to be more powerful than ghosts are. Which I find a bit unsettling, but I managed to get one kill before the Warthog destroyed me. Um, yeah, I hate Warthogs right now whenever I'm not in them. Okay, okay. So, this was done in theater mode, obviously. It's not a live commentary. Um, and this is in theater. Oh, yeah, that's what I just said. So, we're gonna keep on going. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing this, because this battle was done several weeks before, and I saved it on my local files. And I didn't want to put it off too much, you know, put it off till later on too much. So, I decided to do it today since I had a lot of free time, since a lot of stuff was cancelled, which usually would have kept me busy during the week, which is why I usually don't make videos during the week. Uh, but since many things were cancelled, I was able to do it. Now, of course, this Warthog is going to give me a bit of grief in the beginning of the battle, and I'm going to die many times by it. But eventually, I will get my revenge, and it will be sweet. And that is whenever this battle will be very interesting for you and me. This has to be the best battle I have ever had on Halo Reach since I got the game. And that is saying a lot, since I've had a lot of good battles, not all of which I recorded and kept, but I have had a lot of good ones. Da, I got sniped right there. Not much I can do about that. Yeah, the reason for the long respawn times is because players that I'm responding to tend to be in combat like you just saw there um, some warthogs are coming to our right flank so we're gonna go over here to take care of that kinda block their passage he got one kill okay that warthog is empty I'm gonna go to it and another warthog is coming I'm gonna hide behind this throw yes dang that was a perfectly placed grenade and that is my revenge Gain the lead. Three badges with one warthog. It's beautiful, isn't it? Anyways, I gained the lead for my team. Thank God. And, um... Yeah, this warthog is pretty beat up. I decided to stay in it because it had a turret, though. And the turret shoots really fast in Halo Reach, so I really like that. And I probably would have been able to kept back a few people. However, now that I have a driver in it, uh, he drove me away. And he put me in the middle of the map, which is not good. So I decided to get out anyways. Um... So I'm going to go up into one of the frigates, one of the build frigates, and and it is a frigate. This is the boneyard, you know, a shipyard for the last level on Halo Reach. All right, there are these three enemies. Think I can take them? Let's see. Beam. All right, time for some action. No, I'm going to run away. Oh, a rocket launcher. Let's get it. Goodbye. No suit for you. Double kill. Killing spree. Yes, that was a Seinfeld Spawn mention. Spree. I hope you guys catch that, but whatever. Spawn spree and killing spree. I'm not sure if being sneaky is exactly the best... If, if that's the best place to be sneaky at. But anyways, that got him killed. One more missile left. Let's see if I can get a kill with it. Um, right now... It seems we control this frigate. Our entire team is here because everybody came up here and everybody spawned up here. So, our literally our entire team is here. There's no one on, on in the bottom um, yet. However, they're gonna go down there eventually. You can see I stole some kills there. I stole one kill. 
and I'm gonna steal a lot of kills in this from my teammates and they won't be very happy with that but oh well so I used my last missile on a tank and that weakened it considerably which is good I'm gonna take that out however how will I get to it Lost yes I will take this mongoose hopefully it doesn't see me but luckily mongooses are pretty fast so I run right up to it don't give it time to turn and I hop on and destroy the crap out of it Oh yeah, so far I'm doing really good, aren't I? This is why it's been my best game yet. I did surprisingly good. Even for me. I was super surprised at the end of this battle because I was like, mm, yeah. Anyways. Alright, so the enemy has a banshee and he kind of killed my spree. I'm. That was a pretty stupid death. I mean, he, he was just cruising along and I kind of ran into his wing. I was trying to hijack him. But I got out of the mongoose in a wrong fashion, I guess, and yeah, I kind of, it kind of put me right in front of it. So now I have to try that another time. Uh, let's see, what can I kill? What can I get? Oh, let's get this needle rifle. A very good addition to Halo Reach from my dad. I like this. So there, I steal another kill, and we're gonna jump down. Oh no, we're gonna try to kill this dude unfortunately he has armor lock so he does manage to survive almost killed him though I brought his shields down completely and I probably would have killed him with a couple more shots if he didn't hide behind that building so let's continue try to get that banshee again boom eh, no we can't get him he's too fast so what now no one sneaks up behind me yeah, I can usually tell when someone's about to do that with me, which is why I usually pick armor lock, because I hate to be splattered. And I'm really grateful for armor lock. It really helps a lot with that problem. Um, anyways, when I play, I look at my radar a lot. Almost constantly, in fact, except whenever I'm actually shooting. And so that helps me look, see where all my enemies are, and if someone is trying to splatter me from behind like that guy just did. Um, sometimes I look away, or am I, or I am distracted, and so I kind of miss it, and I don't hear the sound that the ghost makes whenever it charges, and it kind of just eludes me. And he—they manage to splatter me sometimes, but eh, it doesn't happen all the time. I manage to catch it most of the times, and I kill them pretty gloriously. That I kind of had a bad spawn place. It, not much I can do there. I spawned right on an explosion and that was a really lucky spawn play so it's it's like good and bad at the same time yeah I got I here goes my streak again really good so I spawned I saved one of my guys from being assassinated and then I hijacked this banshee pretty pretty good you know anyways this banshee isn't in very good shape so I won't last very long in it and this is the first time I've actually flown the banshee in the boneyard map so I didn't know how the boundaries of the banshee here and I kinda got confused a bit so I didn't get many kills in fact I only got this one and then I blew up <clears throat> so didn't do very good with the banshee but I did do pretty good before it yeah so now we own the tank looks like we have a pretty good hold however we are losing by about 15 points no 11 maybe I don't know more than 10 so we need to cat we need to play pretty hard if we're gonna catch up um so I'm gonna take this ghost and we're gonna ride around trying to look for a banshee because I do love to fly however there is no banshee on this side so gonna let that guy respawn makes me let's see what do I do now oh damn oh god this part yeah did you see that that was so glitch wasn't it he didn't even go into armor lock or in time however if I had tried that and if I had gone into armor lock right as a guy like you know um you know ran over me then it the game just hates me, so it would have said that I died and the guy got my kill. So, my death. So, it, the game just hates me. I hate it. But at the same time, I love it. Anyways, that was another glitch, too. I've... He, I hit him first. It was pretty obvious. And he was pretty down on health and shields and everything. So, it, he, I should have had that kill, but... A glitch. 
And that is again is gonna happen again pretty soon. And I really hate that glitch. It drives me crazy. And it's gonna happen right now, in fact. Five minutes remaining. Okay, this guy's gonna land right next to me. I'm gonna hit him. See, that should have brought his shields all the way down. That's what hits do. And then What the heck? Did he hit me with his back? That's impossible. What happened there? Exactly. What the f Yeah. Not very not very good. That's a glitch something need someone need in Bungie needs to deal with. And if it's not a glitch, then it's a very, very unfair thing. Because it's pretty obvious that I hit first. And I sent that guy flying. It's pretty comical. Um, so, let's see. Some guys there. It looks like we lost control of the center of the, f of the map. Not good. We are losing. We are losing. Oh, look, some guy's about to sneak up on me. I think that's the guy I blew up earlier. Uh, that was pretty unlucky. I got some bad shots in there. I missed like three times, but I should have killed him because I did hit him one time. That brings down the shields. It's a guarantee that it'll bring down the shields if you hit him in the head, which I did. And, um, you know, I shot him in the head two times after that. That should have killed him, but it, somehow it didn't. And he managed to kill me. So that really, there's a lot of bad luck type of things that I can't really uh, help, that you can't really do anything about in this battle, but... You just have to deal with it. Alright, and I'm going to show you now why the target lock really sucks for the rocket launcher in Halo Reach. And that time I actually did miss because I didn't target lock, but the first time you saw it miss, but he did barrel roll. The second time, look at this, he just coasts up and the missile just misses. That is terrible. What the heck? Will I make it this time? No, of course not because someone sticks me with something and I blow up. Great. Uh, that's pretty much the end of my good streak. Uh, it was only those couple of minutes. And, yeah, right now I'm kind of lagging right now. Something happened to my capture card. I'm not sure what, but it's been acting up so much. Which is partly why I didn't make more uh, uh, walkthrough videos for the Halo 1 campaign uh, last weekend. Because it was just acting up and it was terrible. I couldn't even play the campaign because it was that bad. And, um, so you're gonna write now till the end you're, we're gonna have some audio and some delayed actions and everything in this video at least I, I did whenever I was recording it might not be so bad in the actual video but we'll see so I'm gonna die now. and that's pretty much the end of the battle they've won you can see it's 100 game over red team wins we lose but I did pretty good I got 16 kills seven, uh, second only to the uh, whatever his name is I forgot I didn't read it in time but, uh, yeah, that is the end of the battle. I hope you guys like this video. Please like it. Please rate it. Please subscribe. That really helps my videos, and I need more views on these type of videos. I know my matchmaking makes good views, but I need more views on my campaign videos because those are only getting 40 to 50 views per video. That's not enough. I do need more. So please help me and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.